What's up and welcome for another episode of VizBug uh, Learning and Know How. And today we are looking at how do we save our work and how do we share what we've done. Uh, maybe we want to export an image, maybe we want to export some code. How do we do that? First, though, we have to modify a web page. Oh, that sounds like so much not fun. Oh, but wait, it is. So I'm going to just again, I'm going to pop on my my uh, GitHub profile over here, drag VizBug into somewhere cool. And first thing I want to do, let's just try to like make this site dark. So when I click on things, I look down here to see if the icon color changes, and this one did, it changed uh, to white. So that lets me know I'm probably on whatever's white, and it looks like I am, I'm there. So I'll choose a nice dark gray, and if I'm lucky, all of the text will go with it here. Ah, yeah, so I can change the text color on the body, and it does, that gets inherited. Uh, that's really nice. Let's change this top bar color. Can we do that? So I'll hit shift enter to go back up. Yep, I saw it change right here. And I want to add something that's like a little bit brighter, um, like chalkier like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's get these cards. So I'm going to grab all of those. I just hit a hot key and we're changing the background color of these. So we want to look like another surface that's still above it, like a card. So we'll go just a little lighter than the background. And... Uh, those have a border on them. Let's change the border as well. Choose something just a little lighter than where we were. Yeah, see how we get that little nice little uh, hairline there? Grab all these, change these to white. Oh, those won't change to white. Okay, we'll have to figure those out later. Um, that's probably good enough. Wait, let's delete this. We don't care about that. And we'll change this to be here. Yes. Okay. So. Let's say this is what we did with VizBug and we want to get our workout. In fact, I really don't like that white bar at the top. I'm just going to delete some design. Doesn't need it. Uh, but now we need some space. So I'm gonna hit M for margin, shift up, add some space there. That looks cool. Uh, okay, so how do I get my work out of here, right? I did some neat things and I wanna share them with the people around me. Um, one of the first ways that I do this, at least the most common way is I just take a screenshot. Now there's a couple things that you can put in the screenshot before you take it that might be uh, more or less helpful. So um, taking a screenshot, that can just be done at any time and you can share the, just your iteration on the work. You're just like, look, I changed a few things. Here's a quick screenshot. I, I modified uh, our site. You can also share little code snippets about specifically what you changed. So if you uh, hover on the eye icon, it's the inspect tool. And this one will tell you about the styles of the things that you're looking at. It will also tell you local modifications. So these are things that you changed. And look, I'm hovering. It tells me I'm hovering on the body element with all these classes on it. And I've changed the background color and the text color. Below that, underneath the space, are all the other properties on the body that are just there by normal. Um, okay, so let's see. It will hover on this card. Look, I have three local modifications. I have a background color change, a border color change, and a color change. So if I click... It will pin that and now I can hover around somewhere else and I could either show like multiple items like look I can hover over this box and I hold shift and click and I will make multiples of these uh, Where else did I make some changes just on the body here? Okay, so this is a good uh, screenshot opportunity. I can just hit a hotkey so on Mac I'm hitting command shift 4 and I'll grab um, these changes right here and I'll stick them in a screenshot and maybe I'll go mark them up. I can uh, use either the tools that come in Mac and I can go mark that up or I can go mark that up in my own tool and sort of uh, annotate it for other reasons. Uh, you can also, while these are pinned, go in and grab the code right off of here. So um, that can be nice in case you wanna take these colors back into your design tool or you wanna take them into your code. You can take them right off of here. Uh, you know, classic double click, you can get the values. You can also change the um, type of color. So if I hit escape, it will unselect those. If I right click and go to VizBug and go to colors, I can change the format that I'm looking at and I prefer HSLA, so I'm gonna go to HSLA. And now when I hover over things, I see colors in HSLA. So that's as easy as color conversion can be. It will do that for you on the fly when it's reading colors. Um, all right, so we've gone over how you can screenshot, you can click and pin things. So if I click, I can pin that, I can hold shift and I can pin multiples of these. Now notice these ones don't have any local modifications, whereas this one does, and we can see the modifications there. And it has a lot of class names on it. But you know, what are we gonna do? All right, so what are some other methods for getting your work out of here? Uh, you can also copy and paste styles. So you can hit Command Option C, like on this item here, and you can grab all of these styles that you see in this um, overlay. You can put those in your clipboard and go paste that CSS anywhere. So you can steal everything and go put it somewhere if you want to. Um, and then you can also save the whole page. 
Um, and that can be done through this handy plugin here called Single File. So if I uh, use this Single File tool on my VizBug modified web page, I will get an entire version of the page in one HTML file that I can go put in Drive, I can go put it in Dropbox, I could go host it on Netlify or put this up on Google Cloud. And as soon as I do that, I can now get the URL and share that around and someone can go load the page that I modified. So VizBug, you can delete items, any page modification that you can do, you can screenshot, you can take the style modifications that you've made, or you can save the entire page as a new file and take that work somewhere new. I hope this helps you out and helps you uh, figure out all the cool ways that you can get the things that you changed on your page back into somewhere else. Uh, and I'll see you later for the next VizBug video. Take care, y'all. Bam!